Well, hello. Hello, old chap. Chaps, chapesses. Girls and boys. Um, I was and I wasn't going to do this. <laughs> um, right, for those of you who have been following the story, you'll know I have hernia. Um, and it's supposed to be getting operated on. I've now had a second letter from the NHS inviting me for a, a pre-surgery appointment to confirm it's a hernia, which would be the fourth time. I'm phoning them tomorrow. I suspect a police setup. But, you know, not saying a word. Um, I wanted to do this one. The Chief Constable of Cambridge Police, Alec Wood, who, as we all know, is a complete disgrace. Um, he's actually come up in the Hunt's Post this week. And this is about... Um, drivers using mobile phones. Now, I do have issues with this. Right. I was driving trucks, actually, long before the law came in that you couldn't hold the phone to your ear. Um, and I would pull over into the inside lane, I would moderate my speed, I would keep an eye on the traffic, I'd make the phone call. Now, I've seen people behaving like complete fucking idiots, basically. They've got the phone in one hand, they've got the coffee in the other, they've got a bag in the ashtray, they've got the paperwork over their dashboard, you know. Fine. Right. If it's dangerous driving, this should be done for dangerous driving while using a mobile phone. It should not be done for using a mobile phone while driving. I mean, it's just another fucking revenue thing, basically. <laughs> but when, when I ask you, like you see these announcements in the paper, about speeding duty or seatbelt duty or move. It's always Sergeant Smith or Inspector Jones, isn't it? The Chief Constable has put his name to this one personally. <clears throat> when it goes wrong, it goes so badly wrong that it changes people's lives forever. Chief Constable Alleywood. Fair enough, yes. This is the point I'm trying to explain. If you use these things sensibly, not a problem. I've seen idiots out there using them ironically. But, but, the Chief Constable putting his name to an article on page 11 of the local fucking shitty, scummy, bought and paid for rag. <laughs> Are you trying to regain some of that reputation there, Alec, which I've so effectively trashed, proving you to be a fucking liar and an absolute fucking duke. I mean, the man lied about hate crime, the police's approach to hate crime, which I, I did in a video last week. Um, he's lied once, that's enough. Well, you, you can't trust him. You cannot trust him. However, on a slightly lighter note, Find page five, I think it was. Yes, police issue prosecution warning over craze. And this is about the clowns <laughs> that have been running around with chainsaws and hammers. <laughs> God. 
Sorry, it's not funny, I know, but it, it is just funny, isn't it? I mean, what fucking desperate fucking state has a society reached that people are actually putting on clown costumes and running around with fucking hammers and fucking... Jo- what the fuck? What the fuck is going on there? So, basically, anyone Cambridge police have warned that anyone thinking of dressing as a clown in order to scare... <laughs> Scare members of the public could face prosecution. <laughs> could face. <laughs> God. Punk dressed as a clown running along the street wielding a chainsaw could face prosecution. <laughs> trouble is, as my dear departed father used to say, used to say, son, even though someone is wearing a police uniform, it's a bit hard to tell if they're a fucking clown or not. We know who the real clown is, don't we, Alec? Night, night.